Hi guys, today I'll show you how to make cauliflower steaks. Some of you had asked for this recipe, so here it is. Heat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 degrees Celsius. We'll need one large head of cauliflower. I've already washed it. Just take the green parts off. You want to take a little bit of the stalk off so the cauliflower sits flat. Don't cut through the stalk. Now it sits flat. Cut them into thick slices. You'll get three slices that stay together. The rest of the cauliflower will, of course, fall apart and you can use that for another recipe. Or just cook it alongside the steaks using the same seasoning. So this is your cauliflower steak. Put the cauliflower steaks on a parchment lined sheet tray. Mix all the spices in a bowl. Salt, ground black pepper, dried thyme leaves, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. Mix that up. Coat the cauliflower with olive oil on both sides. You can use a pastry brush but it's just one more thing to wash. Now put the seasoning on both sides of the cauliflower. When you turn it over, be gentle and hold the stalk. Cover the pan and cook in the heated oven for 15 minutes. For the garlic butter, peel a couple of cloves of garlic. And grate them. After 15 minutes of cooking, take the cauliflower out, remove the foil, and cook uncovered for another 15 minutes. 15 minutes are up. Insert the tip of a knife into the cauliflower. Make sure it goes through so you know it's cooked. 30 minutes is enough for the cauliflower steaks. It's cooked, but not very soft. If you like your vegetables very soft, then you can cook for another 10 minutes. Now we'll make the garlic butter. Heat up a pot. Add butter. If you're vegan, substitute olive oil. Let that melt. Chop up some flat leaf parsley. Once the butter's melted, add the grated garlic. Cook this on low heat for a few minutes until the raw taste of the garlic goes away. You don't want the garlic to change color or get brown. For a little heat, add red chili flakes. Now the garlic is ready. Spoon the garlic butter all over the cauliflower steaks. Top with the chopped parsley. Pretty and flavorful cauliflower stick. And extremely easy to make. It's cooked, but it's not mushy. It's so good. Even though the cauliflower is thick, the spices have gone all the way through. The entire cauliflower is 
nicely salted and seasoned. I could just literally stand here and eat this whole thing. It's that good. This is a piece from another steak that I didn't put garlic butter over. That has more of a grilled steak flavor, especially because of the paprika. So if you are trying to eat healthier and avoid the extra fat, enjoy the cauliflower as it is, even without the garlic butter. The garlic butter just takes it to another level. You can add a little or a lot of the garlic butter. It's really up to you. I hope you give this delicious recipe a try and let me know how you like it in the comments below. Click on that bell icon to get notifications when I upload a new video. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.